So we will start with web application wireless, like since yesterday class didn't happen. And uh, right now we have this thing, web applications with us, and we need a good setup as well for this. I will tell you the setup, how to download, what to download, what are the tools required, extra tools required. Otherwise, web application is very simple. It is not complex. Don't think we are going into the code and deep learning we are going over there. No. Basic concepts, protocols, DNS, subdomains, these things we are talking about over here. Okay. So, very simple. We will study OWASP top 10 and we'll study injections. This is the idea behind it. All right. So, I will use some images over here, guys. Okay. So, let's talk about something over here. Okay. When I ask you about this application, so this is like one image which I'm using right now. So you can see guys on the left hand side, we have browser, application server and database server. Okay. Now, if we talk about the stuff over here, basically in this diagram, we have browser, we have application server. It is written business logic over here. And on the right hand side, we have database server. When you request anything from the browser, it comes to the application server. It is written something guys, business logic. What is a business logic? This part, it will check your input, whether you are writing correct or not. For example, username and password. Username contains email address. Let's suppose infosectorin.com. It should validate that, that this is a particular format written and the rate is included or not. Correct. These all things are checked password minimum character length you generally see minimum is eight okay that is also there complexity of the password everything is maintained over there after everything goes fine it goes to the database server Correct. Right. database server it will always accept true result only true nothing else only true result it accepts and it will give you the result back onto the browser if everything goes well it goes to the browser again and everything works fine okay Guys, what will happen when the query is false? You request something from the browser, application server says, okay, it is fine. In the database server, records are not found. So a false query will be generated. I have written in black color over there. What will be the response to the browser? Let's suppose you give a username, password. You are giving in a particular format. It goes to the database server. Database server say, username, password, incorrect. Now, what will be the response? Incorrect username and password it through. Does it come back to the application server or it directly comes to the browser? Status code will come and then it is shows to the browser. Yeah. So workflow will be same. Like workflow will be this only that you are calling to the application server back because I wrote function call over there. So function call return should come to the application server. Then to the browser, everything will come. Okay. Take a case, take a case deliberately. If at the front end, that is my browser, I make everything true over here. In the username, password, I make or any field, I just make everything true. Okay. I am passing true results over here. Will the database server let me to go inside? Yes or no? it will allow me to go in, right? Yeah. This is the basic property of a SQL injection. Basic property, okay? That this thing happens up whenever you are starting this browser and you are just passing the true queries inside it, it will accept. So actually, we are at one end, we are working over here on the client side. We are not at the server side. Attacker, pen tester, all this, because you don't have anything in your hand, nothing but your browser. So application server, you don't know. Database server, you don't know. We need to gather information about these two things. And then we start doing, playing around with the application server and the database server. Okay. So deliberately, we have to make it true at the front end. This is the main logic. Okay. Moving on to the next part. Just give me a minute. Let me just may draw a new image. Right. I will use that image and I will create a new one okay so this was our original image guys okay i'm taking this into consideration 
And then what I do is we try to bypass a login page. First of all, we'll start from there. Then I will explain you OWASP top 10 vulnerability. Then one by one, one by one, we will discuss everything. Okay. So we are over here right now and we are in a mood to learn that how to bypass a login page. This is our main criteria. Okay. So what I'm doing is let me consider that we have a login page at the browser. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm making out a login page over here. This is my username. Okay, this is my password. You can consider two fields and this is my submit button over here. Great. So or gate I'm talking about binary edition I'm talking about. Okay, binary edition I'm talking about. There are four options, uh, four combination which we can make zero 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 one. 10 and 11. Can you tell me the output of each and everything? 0, 1, 1, and last one is also 1. Correct. Right. This is a binary addition. This is not a mathematical addition, right? So this one is 1. This one is going to be again 1. This one is going to be again 1. Okay. So if both the inputs are like true when it is there, so one of the input is true, everything is becomes true over here. Right. I will write something like this. Just focus on the last one. Okay. I will write it like one or one equal one. Okay. This is a binary or this is a string right now. This one is right now a binary representation. We are not specifying anything. We are not making a query string. Database understand which language? When you say MySQL, when you say MS SQL, when you say Graph QL, okay, when you talk about like Node.js and these kind of MongoDB, right, that is also today we are using in DevOps as well. So everything is understanding a query language. SQL basically, if you talk about, so this is like structured query language basically this is this one okay so we have to convert it into a query string basically so how to convert to a query string is very simple we add single quotes over here i'll tell you the meaning of this what is the meaning why we are adding this thing why we are not adding in the front and in the end but this representation guys this representation is a query string representation okay so let's say this is a query string if I talk to you right now, if I talk to you right now, okay, let me zoom in a little. Yeah, there you go. Considering this thing, guys, with you, if I talk about first case over here, that means this one and this one. If you compare this thing, this thing becomes true. Am I right? Considering the second case, this one is also equal to one. This is a true. This is 100% true query string. That means what? If we supply this in the username and password, it will bypass. This is the case. Okay. One or one equal one. Either of the case should be true over here. Here both are true. So this is a 100% true query string. Now there are possibilities. I will write a possibility over here. You let me know whether it is uh -huh. correct or not. So I am what doing what? I am taking the coding of this text box at the down area. Okay. So if I talk about HTML, little bit, little bit I'm touching. This is how does the code like. Okay. Input type equal to test when you write, it will be the coding of a text box. Correct. Now writing the query once again. Focus. One or one equal one. Single quote, single quote, single quote, single quote, no single quote in the front and in the end. The reason. There is a reason behind it now. Understand the reason properly. Okay. So over here. Okay, focus properly. In one go, you will understand nicely what are the things coming, why it is coming. Okay, so see this code, this double code is automatically there in the coding. 
Am I right? That means if I write over here like this, this is already there. True. Now, if I add, if I add a single quote over in the end or in the front, can this double quote will be equal to a single quote? Never in the life. A single quote and a double quote can never be equal in the life. Right? This will become unbalanced query. Our objective is not to make unbalanced. So we don't write single quote in the front and in the end. We don't specify. We write like this. Okay, we don't specify any single quote in the front and in the end. Cool. Now, if you talk about guys, the stuff over here, we have single quote inside, two single quote inside. So two single quote inside means these are balanced. This is balanced by this one. This is a balanced query. Okay, so the problem is the objective is we need to learn how to balance the query. This one is automatically balanced. But with me, with some challenges, you will see that how to balance the query. Cool. If we write, this is a true query or this is a false query. What is the length of this? This is 5. Am I right? What is the length of this? This is 5. What is the length of this? This is 4. Correct? Four or five cannot be equal to true. First case false. But five or five can be equal to true. This case true. So either of the statement is true, you will bypass. Okay, either of the statement okay. has to be true. This is the case. Because see, this is logical or operations. Computer understand binary, computer understand assembly. It will not accept hello, how are you? No. It will convert it into assembly language, then he will understand. Sky codes. So we are taking the character length over here. This is the first case, okay? Then if I say another one, let's take another example. If I first of all close the quote, okay? Let me close the quote, okay? Close the quote and then I'm writing A equal to A. This is true or this is false. So in that case, you see this one, people are opening this thing, correct? Let's suppose people are closing this thing also. And after that, you again, you want to close, you will write this in your case and you will write R and you will write one equal one. This possibility is also there. So sometime developer miss out some quotes also in the coding. So from the browser end, you can close the quotes. So double quote or single quote, you can try. So th if this one is empty guys, no problems. We don't have to focus on the empty part, right? We have to focus on the balancing of the codes. Balancing of the codes is happening. That's why this thing A or A will work 100%. Okay, so balancing of the query is what we need to understand. Whatever you write, that is no problem. Either of the case should be true. If one of them or both of them is false, nothing will happen over there. Okay, zero, zero becomes zero, nothing. Right, and after that, in all the case, 0, 1, you have 1, 1, 0, you have 1, 1, 1, you have 1. So either of the case and both of the case are true. It is a true, otherwise it is false over there. So sometime in the coding, people miss out to close the codes as well. So deliberately, if you are on the browser, if any input field is there, you can try to put double quote or single quote over there. So first, you will be closing the quote of the coding over here and then you will be writing your query. This thing is also possible. Keep this thing in mind and it will be clear to you, the task which I'm going to give you, it will be clear to you, right? We will perform two or three together and we will see. So this is the concept happening guys over here that we don't add this thing because this thing is in the coding. And if you write this thing, this becomes an unbalanced query. This will become an unbalanced query. Anybody has any doubt, you can ask me over here. Okay, through the challenges, you will see with me for sure these stuff. This is the first, first and the very foremost basic injections that everybody test out in the, on the logics part. And this one is known as authentication bypass. Apart from the SQL, apart from the error base, this thing is known as authentication bypass injection. 
Okay, very basic one, but we'll start from the basic and I'll take you to the high levels over there. This is authentication by passed off, which is happening up over here. Okay, 